student-centered learning. The student learning experience and measurability of course learning outcomes are often influenced by practical instructional design practices. But student-centered learning always begins with the teacher. Student-centered learning is based on several actions. First, students should always be allowed to share in decision-making. Placing students at the center of their own learning requires their collaboration. They need a voice in why, what, and how learning experiences take shape. Student-centered learning must include explicit skill instruction. Learner-centered teachers teach students how to think, solve problems, evaluate evidence, analyze arguments, generate hypotheses, all of those learning skills essential to mastering material in the discipline. They do not assume that students pick up these skills on their own automatically. Students need to be aware of themselves as learners and to make learning skills something students want to develop. The biggest contribution and development of student-centered learning has been technology. In addition, open source and shareware technology tools allow learners an endless ability to demonstrate their knowledge and understanding of learning. Implementing learning elements like videos are one of the most effective ways to successfully create a vibrant learning environment. However, instructional designers must be cognizant on the length of the videos to ensure that the message maintains an identified perspective while delighting the viewing pleasure of others. Student-centered learning models have continued to replace commonly used passive learning practices. While passive learning continues to demonstrate effective opportunities like the consumptions of large quantities of information and promoting a more and relaxed learning environment, it does not require consistent use of higher level cognitive skills while quickly losing learner appeal. Instructional designers need to maintain a student-first perspective in learning development to increase critical thinking, increase their autonomy, and stimulate their desire to try new approaches to learning.